I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you very much. I'm ready. Well, I'm not ready. I'm proud of you for keeping it. You didn't have to. It was very brave of you. Charlie. Breakfast for dinner. Hey. How was your day? Busy. Need some help? No, I got it. Smells good. You okay? I've got some work to do tonight. I'll be hooked up later. Yeah, sure. Dad? Yeah? Can you help me finish my fork? No, I can't, man. I'm gonna be working on this all night. Please? I said no. I'm sorry, yeah, I'll help you later. After dinner, okay? Hey! Where are you going? Out. You gonna tell anybody? I just did. Uh, come on, Charlie, dinner's ready. She's just going through a phase. I remember Julie being that way when she was a little girl. Julie's different. We're all different now. I appreciate you and what you're doing here. Mary, you don't understand. She loves you. We, we all need you. See, Anna's is back already. James. Hi, Mom. I brought you something. I haven't heard from you in months. Why won't you return my calls? Well, I haven't been able to. I'm sorry. 
Well, how is Lisa? I'm worried about her. She's okay, Mom. She's okay. We wanted you to have this. Oh, well, it's beautiful, James. Thank you. <laughs> wow, what is it? Uh, where did you get this? I is it a game? Yes, it is a game. And I want you to play it as soon as you can. It's very simple. All you have to do is give the box to someone you love. Don't keep it. Pass it along. Do it before the timer runs out. What, what's wrong? Well, why don't you come in and have dinner with us, please? It's been so long since we've all been together. What? All been together? Who else is here? Well, Julie and Adam and the kids. They moved in a couple of weeks ago. Well, they're still moving in, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've got to go. Bye, Mom. I'm sorry. Hurry up, Mom! Hey, be patient. Hungry. Hi, Hungry. I'm Dad. Stop doing that. Stop mouthing off to your mom, kid. I'll get you in trouble. Hey, Adam. Will you grab the orange juice and the butter? Sure. Anything else? Uh, maybe a more helpful attitude? I'll work on that. Was that Anna, Grandma? No, it was your uncle. Uncle Jim? Yeah. I haven't seen him in forever. I know. We have an extra seat and plenty of food. Well, he didn't want to stay for dinner. He was acting very strange. Jim was acting strange? I don't believe it. But he gave me this box. What is that? Well, I don't know, but he said that I'm supposed to give it to someone that I love. Thanks. Off the table. Huh? Well, how about school this morning? work. You know, I could get used to your cooking dinners for us like this every night, sweetheart. Taste it first, huh? <laughs> Shh, damn it, Charlie! All right, it's Adam, all you scared right. Him. Everybody calm down. I'm calm. calm what down. is your problem? This is okay. Calm down. I'll okay, get it's no big deal. It I'm calm. No. Grandma, I'll get it. I'm so ready to get out of there. Are uh, your parents fighting again? They're always fighting. I don't really give a shit anymore, but I know it bothers Charlie. Yeah, well, my dad can be kind of a dick, too. You won't be like that when you're a dad. Well, geez, I mean, what the hell are you talking about? Sorry, I, I'm just not really thinking that far ahead. Hey. You need to have some fun. So, we can go to Jake's party, or we can just hang here. Whatever you want. I'm pregnant. Wait, what? Are you serious? Who's the father? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh, did you double check it? I don't know, it, it could be defective. Yeah, yeah. Johnny had a poppy seed muffin the night before he had to take a random drug test at work and he tested positive for opiates. Did you eat any muffins last night? I, I can't be a dad. 
My dad's gonna kill me. Yeah. Mine too. She's not answering. She'll come home, she always does. It's late, you should go to sleep, please. I think I left it open. I'm gonna go check. What is it? I had a bad dream. Oh my god. It's okay, baby. Come here. Go back to sleep. Can I sleep in here with you? Go back to sleep. Remember, we're practicing staying in your room? Yeah? Okay. Good night. Call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure your room is that way. Sleep good, kiddo. So, uh, what time did this happen? Um, around midnight. Mm. We were sleeping. We heard her in her room. And we found her like that, in her bed, just a as you did. And your daughter? Anna. Yes, Anna. Where was she last night? We don't know. Um, she's got a boyfriend. We haven't been able to get a hold of her yet. Yeah, we've been having some issues with her recently. Would she have any reason for wanting to hurt your grandmother? No, of course not. Is that a normal question, Detective? Or do you think my 16-year-old daughter killed her great-grandmother? We found a puncture wound on her chest, consistent with a stabbing. This is all so confusing. There's no evidence of a struggle, no defensive wounds, no signs of forced entry. I don't want to stay here, Adam. That's completely up to you. We swept the area and found nothing. If he says it's safe, it's safe, okay? It'd be better for Charlie to stay put. The place yeah. is fine. I don't want to be in this house right now. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Again, thank you for your time. I'll be in touch if I have any further questions. The little monster did it. The little monster? It killed Grandma and ran back into that box. Um, he was saying that last night. 
He's got an imagination. Since his um, brother passed away, he has some trouble with reality. Well, what happened? Does that have any bearing on this case, Detective? Charlie, I've been doing this a long time. And I've seen my fair share of monsters. If a monster did kill your grandma, I'll catch him. I always do. Again, I'm sorry for your loss. Anna, you need to call me. This is serious. You need to come home. I've called her, I've texted her. She's not responding. I'm just getting really old, Adam. We could lock her in the basement. Maybe. Hey, hey. Come here. She's gonna be okay. All right? Uh, someone from your office? Natalie. Natalie. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, you left this paperwork on your desk, so I just wanted to bring it by. All right, yeah, thank you. Mm hmm You have a lovely home, Julie. Oh, thank you. Uh, it was actually my grandmother's. Ah. Yeah. Um, would you, would you like a drink or something? Oh, water or... would be great. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thanks. What do you think you're doing? I wanted to see you. And you're not replying to my messages. I'm gonna get caught. Is that what you want? Maybe. Would it be such a bad thing? Yes, it would be terrible. I'll explain later, but I need time, and I need you to leave now. Okay. All right, I'll see you on Monday. She had to leave? Uh, yeah, she had to go. She's pretty. I hadn't noticed. So the plan is we just drive around and wait till our families forget about us, or what? Look, I'm totally out of cash and I'm starving. You gotta be hungry too. I mean, remember, you're eating for two now. God, you are so stupid. Well, look, you can't just run away from this. Let's just, let's go to your house, I'll get something to eat, and we'll sit down with your parents, and we can tell them together. You would really do that? Yes. I'm that hungry. Fine. I'm hungry too. Anna. Hey. Wait! Hey! Anna! What? Sit down! I'm sick of this. Your mom was up all night worried about you. And you? I'm surprised you realized I was even gone. Chicken. I'm gonna go through this. I'm tired of this conversation. Hey! Hey! Go! Yeah, sure, no problem. No, Tyler, you don't have to go anywhere. Seriously, it's fine. Whatever you can say in front of me, you can say in front of him. Sit! Down. We've been trying to get a hold of you all night. Grandma Mary's dead. What? 
She passed away last night in her bed. How? What, what do you mean? <laughs> what happened? We don't know. The police were here. Um, they don't know what caused it. I told you that the monster killed Grandma and went back into the box. Stop it with the box, Charlie. Stop it. I thought I told you to put that somewhere else. I did. Hey, if you guys don't want it, I'll take it. I mean, it's got to be worth something. Please, take it on your way out. Everything's gonna be okay. Go, go, go! Wait, wait, go! Your new family. I've been thinking about it and I can get a job. Yeah, it, it'll be a little hard at first, but I think with some patience and maybe Stay a little here. luck, we can do it. you saw last night? Yes! Let me in! Let me in! Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I, 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 they followed us outside, but then when we got in the cart, it just went away. Okay, good, good. Where's Tyler? Anna. Hey. for a second. Are you kidding me? No! Adam, you're losing your mind if you think we're not calling the police right now! What are you gonna say? Huh? What are you gonna tell them? I'm sorry, officer. This monster comes out of this box and kills this kid in our house and we don't know anything about it. That doesn't make any sense! Think about it! Think about how you'll sound! It's insane! That's two dead bodies in two days. If we weren't suspects already, then we're definitely gonna be suspects now and that doesn't turn out good for us. What are we gonna do? We are not criminals! No. Just give me a second. Just, let's just hold on. Think about it, okay? This thing is counting down. We don't know when it's coming back out, okay? Let me get rid of it. If you clean this up, and we take him, we can take him downstairs for just a little bit. Are just, you fucking kidding me? For right now. Are just, you insane? Just for a minute. I'm sorry, baby. We put him downstairs for a minute. I'll get rid of this and we'll figure it out, okay? Trust me. So where are you gonna take? I'm gonna take it back where it came from. Okay. I'm sorry. Trust me, okay? I'm so sorry, Tyler.
So what do we have? Uh, one victim, Mary Roberts, 77-year-old female. Puncture wound to the chest, directly into the heart. This was no accident. Got any leads? Uh, she had some family living in her house, the Thatchers, Adam and Julie and their kids. Adam and Julie Thatcher. Youngest son, Charlie, eldest daughter, Anna. You, you know them? Two years ago, I worked a kidnapping case. Ten-year-old boy went missing from a park. We searched the entire county, find nothing. Two weeks later, we find a dismembered body in a dumpster. It's Henry Thatcher, Adam and Julie's middle child. Jim! Jim! Sorry, Adam. You're sorry? I know you wrong. Open the door, you crazy prick! Your mom's dead. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't you even fucking try to give that little gremlin thing to me! Listen to me! You have to give the box to someone you love. You have to truly love them. That's the only way to give it away. Why would I do that? Huh? It's already killing people. Oh my God. Yeah. Your mom's dead. And it killed Anna's boyfriend. Your family? They're okay. It will kill them and everyone else around you. Give it away. How do you know so much about it? How do you know what to do? Get out of here, now! What happens when this timer runs out? I don't fucking know! Maybe it finally comes for you, you know? Like your time is up. I didn't wait to find out! No, you didn't. You gave it to your mom. To save your own ass. She was old! I didn't know you guys were there! Fuck you, fucking box. Go! Sorry about earlier. Yeah, you were being an asshole. You came to my house. She's not an idiot. Where are you right now? I'm driving home. No, you're driving here. I can't, I've gotta get home. Did something happen? Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Hmm, sounds mysterious. <sighs> Listen, I'm gonna talk to her. Promise me. <laughs> Fine, I promise. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Anna, let's talk to me. Oh, I was scared. Dad's taking care of it. Good. You know, I would actually feel better about this situation if it weren't for the fact that my boyfriend is in a bag in the basement. 
your dad loves you very much. And when he gets home, it what? It'll fix him. Dad breaks things, he doesn't fix them. What if he just leaves us here? What if he doesn't come home? Have you thought of that? Yes, of course I've thought about that. Mom. Yes. Never mind. Julie? Where's Charlie? He's in our bed. I went to Jim's. He wouldn't take it. So I threw it in the lake. It's gone. Are you sure? Promise. We do need to talk about Tyler. We need to call the police. Anna, honey, we've been through that. Um, maybe she's right. I mean, do you actually think we'll get away with this? What I think is that if we call the police right now, we're going to jail. Don't you think someone's gonna come looking for him? Of course they will. I just want us to be smart. We need to get our story straight. Okay? The truth is, this has been a horrible day. Baby, I can't imagine what you're feeling. We're exhausted. But we're safe. Let's get some rest. And then tomorrow morning, first thing, we'll sit down together and we'll decide, the three of us, what we need to do. I love you. Let's go to bed. You're on the couch. What? What is it? I can explain this. I tell you what, why don't you get your story straight? And we'll talk about it in the morning. Please don't do this. down and kills all of us. How? Jim said to give it to someone I love. But you gave it to Tyler and he's dead. Honey, Tyler's a dipshit. I'm sorry, I love you. Listen, Jim gave it to Grandma. She gave it to me. I saw it reset when she did, did you? Wait, he gave this to her and he knew what this was? Yes, he told me. Wait, I, 
How could he do that? How could we do that? This is attached to me somehow. It's a curse or something. I don't understand it. But I have to get it out of this house before it kills every one of us. I have to give it to somebody. No. What are you talking about? Who could we possibly give this to? Mr. Roberts? Mr. Roberts? Mr. Roberts? Yeah, that's me. Detective Patterson, Metro PD Homicide. I need to talk to you about the death of your mother. I was very close to my mother. This has been very hard on me. I'm sorry for your loss. What can you tell me about Adam and Julie Thatcher? Did they have any reason to dislike your mother? Do you suspect them of killing her? Someone did. I don't know what to tell you, Detective. I mean, they're good people. I don't see why they would do anything to hurt her. Well, according to the Thatcher statements, you were there the night she died? Yes, I was. I wasn't there very long. I mean, I just stopped by to drop something off. Didn't happen to be a box, did it? Yes. Well, what can you tell me about it? Well, what's to tell? It's an antique, a gift. Well, what's inside it? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't open, as far as I can tell. What does the box have to do with Mother's death? Who's this? That was... That's my wife, Lisa. Was? She died not long ago. Sorry to hear that. What happened? She was very sick. Is this something you're not telling me, Jim? No, no. Please, I've, I've told you everything I know. It's just hard, losing so many people that I love. I understand. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. Let me take over. No, I'm awake. How long was I asleep? Maybe a few minutes. Where are the kids? They're sleeping. I just took Charlie in. How long do you think you're going to be able to do that? As long as it takes. It has to come out eventually. Let me take it to her. Please.
Give it to her. Did you do it? Yeah. What? What's wrong? I just need a minute. Okay. I'm gonna run to the office. Just be here when I get back. Okay. We'll make it all worth it, I promise. I love you. I love you too. Read those reports by Friday without fail. Now get out of here and be safe. Hey Morris, wait a minute. I got a lead on that Mary Roberts case. I'm listening. Two days ago, a 16-year-old boy, Tyler Cook, goes out with some friends and never comes home. Tyler Cook, should I know him? No, not him. He was last seen with Anna Thatcher. Have you questioned her? No, not yet. Too many missing people and dead bodies. They're hiding something. The only thing that's consistent on their stories is this damn magic box. Magic box. A little boy said a monster came out of it and killed his grandmother. That's weird. It was at the house. Give it to Miss Roberts the night she died by her son Jim. Are you gonna look into it? I'm gonna exhaust every lead till I find something. I know someone who may be able to help. Her name's Luciana Farrow. She's some sort of gypsy lady or palm reader or something like that. Is this the same Luciana that you had a thing with? Yeah, same one. Don't judge, man. She was special. I thought you said she was crazy. Yeah, but only because she'd go on and on about this type of shit. I'm telling you, she'll be able to tell you what that box is. Can you let her know I'll stop by later? I'll do it. Hey, where are you going now? I'm going to find Anna Thatcher. Did you give it to her? No, not yet. She went to work. What? I'm not going to be able to do this. I know that I said that I could. I can't. You were the one that said we shouldn't give it to anybody, and you were right. Yeah, that was before it killed our daughter. Give her the fucking box, Adam. I will not lose another child. I know you don't love me anymore, but would you seriously choose her over Charlie? Of course not. You know that. I'll take care of it when she gets back, okay? I promise. Do you remember when you were really little? Smaller than Charlie is now, and Henry was just a baby. And I would read to you every night, and you never, never liked the stories. And so we would shut the book together and we would make up our own silly stories. Like, there was a little girl named. That's where you say Anna. There's a little girl named Anna. Anna was a beautiful little princess. And then you would say, no, not a princess, a monkey. And you would giggle with your sweet, perfect voice. And then I would tickle you until you laughed so hard you would squeal and you would beg me to stop. And then when I stopped, you would hug me and I would hold you so tightly. I'm sorry that I couldn't protect you, my little monkey. I 
I don't deserve to be down here. It won't be for long, I promise. Detective Patterson? Uh, hello, Julie. Do you have a moment? Um, well, Adam's not here, and I really need to get Charlie to his doctor's appointment. I is Anna here? It's Monday, Detective. She's in school. Uh, now, that's funny. Because when I called the school, they said she didn't show up for class today. Why would you need to call her school? I need to talk to her about Tyler Cook. He's been reported missing. Her boyfriend. Is it possible they're together? I mean, she was here this morning. I don't know where Tyler is. And, you know, they're teenagers. It's not unusual for Anna to be missing from school. I can call you when she comes home? Okay, please do. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. I, I really need to talk to her. Glad to see you didn't change your mind.
No. It's not over. It's not fucking over, Julie. What? What do you mean? I mean it just killed her. Fuck. Like everybody else. I killed her. Adam, how is that possible? Get Charlie out of the house. Get him out of the house and go to the motel on 6th. Do you hear what I'm saying? Go right now. Leave the gun on the counter. What are you going to do? Adam! What do you plan to do? I'm gonna come home and wait for it to come out and I'm gonna fucking kill it. No! We already tried that, it didn't work! I'm trying it again. Do what I said. Go to the motel. There has to be someone else we can give it to. Who? Who, Julie? My parents? I don't love anybody else but you and that kid. Get out of there. I didn't sleep at all. Did you kill it? Is it dead? No, I'm still waiting. Doesn't seem to care about my schedule. How is he? Sleeping. Good, that's good. How are you? So sorry, Julie. About Natalie and everything. What are we supposed to do? You just expect us to keep running until the police finally catch us? Do you expect me? To dig a shallow grave in the middle of nowhere. To bury my daughter. And then what next? We just start new somewhere else. 
we forget? I didn't help with the pain of losing Henry. And it won't help now. I can't do that. I don't know the answer to any of those things. But I know that I love you. I thought that I loved her, but I didn't. It was you. It was always you. I just need to kill this thing and everything will be all right again. We're not coming home, Adam. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't just stay there and wait. After I've taken care of it, I'll come to you. No. No, I don't want you to.
See anything you like, detective? Uh, Luciana Farrell? I am her, she is me. How may I help you? Would you like me to tell your future? I can do that. Uh, uh, no, no, not at all. Uh, I was told by a friend you may be able to help me. I'm trying to identify something. A box? Remarkable, detective. What is it? I know what it is. It's a kind of a Trojan horse. It's, it's a weapon? Yes. So you've seen it before? No, of course not. It doesn't exist. Ah, there it is. For centuries, legend has told of a divine weapon. A box passed from generation to generation between loved ones. Hidden inside the box, was a fallen gold, held against its will, bound to an evil purpose, tormenting and killing entire bloodlines. For whoever possessed the box would watch as the creature inside would emerge and brutally murder those they loved, one by one. The box could not be destroyed. It could not be lost or given away to just anyone. The god would continue to kill as the timer on the box ticked closer to its end. There were only two choices, watch and wait, or pass the curse to someone you truly loved, resetting the timer. I know what you're thinking. What happens when the timer finally runs its course? There are whispers and rumors, but no one knows for sure. What is known is that as the timer ticks near its end, whoever possessed it would be overcome with madness and pass it along every time. That is why it's still here today. That's the biggest load of fucking bullshit I've ever heard. Most myths are, detective. It's simply a bedtime story. So what you're telling me is, I just showed you a picture of a magic box from God. People have been building these boxes as harmless oddities for centuries. What you have is an homage to an ancient piece of elaborate fiction. Nothing more. I have one. I'll sell it to you if you like. Don't worry, there's no trapped gods inside. At least I don't think there are. Hello? Church! 
Charlie? No, no, Charlie! What do you think happened to us when we die? I don't know. I guess it's a lot like... like it is before you're born. I don't remember before I was born. Me either. Mom says we go to heaven. When I die, are you gonna put me down here with Anna? Nothing's gonna happen to you. I will bite this thing. I will get between you and it, and I will not stop. Do you understand? How'd it go with Luciana? She's hot, right? I don't know what you two saw in each other, but I got the story on the box. It's just an antique. It's just a big waste of time. Hey, Morris, we found Adam Thatcher's vehicle abandoned on 50th Street. A any sign of Adam? We dispatched a unit to his house, but he wasn't there. If he was, he didn't open the door. There's something else. Well, what is it? You need to see for yourself. Holy shit. Imagine being the cleaning lady and finding this. This is a lot worse than Mary Roberts. This bastard is sick. We have a missing persons report that I think maybe connects your guy. What? Who is it? Natalie Rose. Do I know her? She works in Adam's office. The lady who called it in said that neither of them have been to work for two days. No one's even heard from either of them. Get started on a search warrant for the Thatcher house. What do you want me to tell the DA? Do I have probable cause? I got his dead wife in a motel room. It doesn't automatically make Adam the killer. His daughter and her boyfriend are missing. He just abandoned his car in the middle of the street. Now he and his co-worker haven't been seen for days. Seems suspicious. Jesus, John, just give me the damn warrant. Be anywhere by now. Son of a bitch. Check the uncle's house, and if he's there, bring him in for questioning. And I want to patrol out here every few hours. I'll do it. Hey, we'll catch him.
back in the car, Charlie. Should we say something? Stay in that box, buddy. You hear me? No matter what happens, you stay in there. Why is it doing this to us? I don't know. But I think it's coming for me now. That timer runs out. If it gets me, I want you to run. Don't look back. Just run. Don't look at me. And don't touch the box. Just go. You understand? Dad? Yes, son? Aren't you supposed to give the box to someone you love? I guess so. Can you give it to me? Because you don't love me? It's because I love you more than anything. In the whole world. Be quiet now. Be brave. Don't come out. I did it. Charlie! Hey, come here. It's okay, buddy. Come here. It's okay. Are you alright? Okay. I love you so much. We're gonna be okay. Dad! Dad! Get the box.
okay? Yes. It won't be long until another one comes out. Adam! Adam! Gonna be in the care of the state now. Charlie! Charlie! Dad! Oh, Charlie. I love you. I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. Come on, buddy. Let's get out of here. It's gonna be okay. I promise. I'm not going anywhere. I need backup at the factory house! Now! See it now! What the hell is going on? They came from the box! The box! What the hell is it doing? I don't know. 